Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, child, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. The life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me, I created these dolls myself and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me and this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And so far I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a sensuous, juicy, provocative love story about human evolution. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck that I am going to use today to talk to you about mind tricks that are holding you back. This reading saved my life. It, it really has pushed my personal boundaries and I hope that it has the same effect on you. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darlings, to better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the pink and black zebra stripe divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you. First I'm going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about this particular hand. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar and Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar's message to you is Bring your dreams to life. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is Knowledge is power. The next message I have for you 
is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib's message to you is Give your mind time to accept the wisdom of your soul. Forgive yourself. And the last card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message to you is stop playing the victim. So my collective intuition about this hand, and I'll tie it up for you, is that you're on the right track. But you inundate yourself with just more and more and more and more. You know, let me watch one more video. Let me read one more self-help book. Let me, you don't feel that you have enough knowledge, enough information, enough schooling, enough seminars, enough workshops, uh, enough classes to be the greatest version of you possible. You have the card here that says knowledge is power. Child, knowledge is power, but guess what? If you don't apply the knowledge, at some point, how do I say this? You can't just say, well, I've taken all these classes, but I've really never, you know, played the guitar in front of a crowd. I've never gone to concert. I've read all of these books about, you know, book weaving. I've watched 2,000 videos about how to start a YouTube channel, how to look up the keywords, but you really don't have any YouTube videos. Do you understand what I'm saying? The universe is saying to you, darling, that you have the knowledge you need. You are ready. You, you, you're ready. One more video, one more self-help book, one more how-to, one more class, one more seminar is not going to... That's. It, it wants The universe wants you to have confidence in your ability right now. Knowledge is power and you have a lot of power, but power without execution, without applying that knowledge, without doing the thing that you want to do um, it's just going to you're just going to have a lot of information so don't forget that you're going to need elbow grease as well you're going to need to say okay I'm not going to pick up another book about how to do this I'm just going to do it I'm not going to just watch one more video about how to start a YouTube channel I'm just going to make my videos so just look at how you are structuring your time and see if you are spending more time trying to better yourself like you know thinking like in, in terms of like classes and seminars and if you're work you know if you're working on trying to be that trying to be that as opposed to being that thing not just reading another book about being a writer or one more video or one more class or one more workshop or one more seminar just write your book child just do your just do your thing the other cards you have is from jungle beauty goddess namib and the Jungle Beauty Goddess the Meads card, give your mind time to accept the wisdom of your soul. This card, the energy I'm picking up from this collective hand, is that you feel that you should be further along in life. You should have more. You should be more. You don't understand why your life is the way it is. But the universe is telling me what I'm picking up from this hand is that you are exactly where you're supposed to be and that you have done everything right and everything that you ever wanted is coming to you is coming to you quickly and swiftly but you need to be in a state of acceptance and you're not if you are thinking that oh my god I can't believe that my life is not the way I thought it would be or I don't, I'm not making the money I thought it would make or whatever don't think like that because everything that you've ever done has gotten you to the point where you are right now and you are headed towards a place that feels like your destiny like you are so you know one of the things I read I can't remember where I read it from is that just because you are there are detours or traffic backups it doesn't mean that you're going in the wrong direction you know what I'm saying so forgive yourself every you know if you're in debt if you had some bad business mistakes, if you tried a lot of things and they didn't work out, you, all of those factors led you to this moment in time. And you are doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing and just keep on going. Keep going. I want to read this to you because I couldn't believe it. When I'm doing my readings, I like to take notes and I'll go back over them later. And a lot of times I'm so surprised at what I'm writing. 
So this is what came to me when I read your card from Namib. It says, you think your life should be different. You think you should be further along. You feel that you should have done things differently, but you are where you belong. So yeah. Anyway, I read that. I was like, oh my God, that rhymes. So anyway, you are, hey, whatever situation you're in, as long as you don't stop, you're going to get there. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess. Chalby and Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message stop playing the victim and this collective reading she is saying don't you know don't get down on yourself don't blame external uh, circumstances don't blame your boss don't blame your teachers don't blame your friends don't blame your parents you are like don't blame anyone because you have all of the power inside of you you have you know, you have everything to stand on your feet, everything to make your dreams come true. Like, don't, I know, you know, what's coming to me is there's a person who said, but I put up 10 videos and I, I really try hard and, you know, I still don't have the subscribers or I tried to go to school, but I had this really mean teacher and the teacher just, I, I decided I want to change my major. Well, yeah, no, mm -mm. don't blame anybody. You look at yourself right now and you say, I am, I am a divine being. I am an infinite being. I'm a, I am, um, I can do whatever I want. Okay. This world belongs to you. You just need to know that you have the power and that everything that has happened to you was, it happened to make you a better and a stronger person, but don't, don't blame anybody. You know, one of the things I like to tell my students is that you, the reason that you should always take accountability and responsibility for your behavior is not because everything is your fault. It's because it's the only thing you can control. You can't control other people. You can't control outer, you know, circumstances. You can't control the government. You can't control, you know, who your sometimes who your boss is. You can't control who your parents. Are. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, so. But what you can control is how you decide to analyze, assess, look at, and make decisions on a daily basis. You have a car from afar that says, bring your dreams to life. What I'm picking up from this hand is that the universe wants you to know is that people, you don't bring your dream to life. Your daily actions are, so let me just say this. Some people don't understand that Bringing, bringing your dreams to life, you know, is not about um, whether or not somebody, you know, let's say you write a book and no one's ever reads it. That doesn't mean that you're not a writer. Or let's just say that you, whatever you want, you are it because you are doing it. Your action makes you it. Your writing makes you a writer. Um, singing makes you a singer. So bringing your dream to life is really about doing the thing that you came to this planet to do on a, on a consistent basis and when you do what you love or whatever your goal is if you want to be in school if you are you know making videos whatever it is as long as you are doing that it makes you that does that does that make sense so i want to be really clear so a mind trick that's really holding you back according to your hand is that you feel like you don't know enough or you're not smart enough or you don't have enough information and when you are acquiring new information you feel productive you feel like hey i just read a book i just watched 10 more videos on how to start a video right i just read 10 cookbooks on how to cook this so therefore i am cooking it the cards and and i think we do go through a stage where we really need to figure out what we're doing but the cards are saying you have everything you need and it's time for you to execute your plan and that you should be doing things that scare you you should be pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone and if you're not doing something that's making you nervous and making you afraid and making you feel vulnerable then your enemies that you're not you're not living your true destiny. You're not pushing yourself the way you need to. Um, so this, just keep that in mind. You have everything you need. You are headed in the right direction, child. See yourself as a success. See yourself as victorious. Do things that scare you. Keep moving. Everything you want wants you, and it is on its way to you. 
So that is my collective reading for you. And now I'm going to give you the message from your skull being, your verdite skull being. It's a beautiful being. So I'm going to give you this message. Get, get focus here. Oh, let me see. Can I get this in focus, Joe? Are we good? You think there is going to be a sign that says you have arrived, a ticker tape parade, people blowing horns, people waving flags, telling you that you are at your destination, that you are where you belong. You think that somehow, like your GPS, something will say you have arrived to your destination. This is why so many humans turn back or stop moving forward. You are not looking for a destination. You are being present in a purpose in a purposeful never-ending journey of self-discovery, growth, and personal evolution. No one has taken this road before you and no one would take this journey after you. It was designed specifically for you and you alone. You can stop asking other people for advice. That just cracked me up. Like, oh. You can stop asking other people for advice, family and friends for directions and for their approval. The knowledge you have acquired now over the years belong to you and you alone. No one is equipped to help you. That just sounds so okay. For this hand, no one is equipped to help you. You got this. Believe in yourself. The number one mind trick holding you back is that you do not have a gauge, map, or directions on how to achieve your ultimate dream. It is not the production of one video, one book, or one song. It is the evolution of your daily practice that makes you a writer, an actor, or a doctor. When you understand that the accumulative actions that you have already, I'm sorry, the accumulative actions of what you do most of the time makes you who you are trying to become, you will see that you have already arrived to where you are trying to go. Does that, I hope that makes sense. The act of doing is what you the act of doing is what make you the thing that you are trying to achieve, not the number of book sales, not the number of people who subscribe to your channel, and not how many fights you have won or lost make you a boxer. Getting in the ring makes you a boxer. Training for the fight makes you a boxer. Sitting down to write makes you a writer. The outcome is not your destiny. How people feel about your work is not your destiny. Showing up for your life and doing what you were born to do, that is your destiny. And it is what makes you a winner and a superstar. Isn't that gorgeous? That is such a beautiful message. So basically, your hand is saying that you got this, you are on your way, um, everything you want is unfolding, keep going. Don't blame outside circumstances. Um, this is just really, I love this hand. Confi you, you need to be very confident and believe in yourself. Chalby represented that when she said stop being a victim, but she represents our third chakra, which is our personal power center. So you just really need to just keep going, leave the past behind you, um, not listen to, you know, sometimes people. I'll put it like this. I don't like to listen to people who are not going in the direction that I'm going, who not, who are not trying to achieve or have achieved what I want to achieve because how can they know? So um, this, I really hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darling. If you selected the burgundy with black lace divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you on mind tricks holding you back. First, I'm going to read the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition. 
The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message to you is you have the courage to stand up for yourself. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message to you is unleash your confidence. The next card I have for you, you're pulling in some strong Chalby energy. We're talking third chakra, self-esteem, power, confidence, believing in yourself and taking action. That's what your third chakra is all about. I have another card for you from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And her message to you is, let's get into focus here. Be fearless. And I have one more card for you, darling. And this is from Dematter. And the message from Dematter is, you are the ruler of your reality. I've never seen a hand that feels like it doesn't need an explanation. The cards are tell, saying that you need a purposeful plan that you are executing on a consistent basis to bring, to manifest your dreams, to get everything that you want. The mind trick that is holding you back is that you're not good enough. Like you, you don't have, you're really just afraid. You have everything, but you are really just afraid of what other people will think of you. Will, and that you're overly critical and um, picky. Like really like, oh my God, that's not good enough. Oh, I'm not gonna put this video out because there are just too many mistakes. Oh, I can't do this. And when you look at other people things, you're probably really critical too. And being critical and being hard on yourself is really stopping you from being all that you can be. So the mind trick is, it's not good enough. Um, it's not perfect enough. I'm still working on that. I'm just gonna, you know, redo that. And what happens is you, and by the time you actually get around to it, you know, you've just let so many opportunities pass you by because you're afraid of not, of it not being perfect enough. So that's one aspect and the other aspect is that you your mind is telling you that something is only worthy and valuable and credible when other people like it but that's not true you don't need your friends opinions sometimes teachers have been wrong and a lot of teachers have been wrong um your bosses have been wrong like you really if i had to tell you look your hand is telling you straight out work on your confidence work on your confidence work on your third chakra which is two inches above your your navel it's like right in the center of your stomach and some of the th uh, you can use citrine which is a gemstone um yarrow which is an herb i'm trying to think oh tiger tiger's eye is a really good gemstone for your third chakra any yellow gemstone would really help you um, also doing, I know this sounds crazy, but doing sit-ups, anything that uses your stomach muscles, doing yoga breaths will also do that. Another thing you can do to inc improve your self-esteem and your personal power is to imagine a golden light descending down from the central sun, coming in through your top chakra channel. Here, you know, this purple, but just imagine this this golden golden light is coming down and it's going all the way, take it all the way through your entire body, all the way to the center of the planet, and then I would like to anchor it there. But then I want you to come back and I want you to imagine and imagine it protruding from the middle of your stomach. So you got so you're anchored in the planet with this golden light, and now you have this golden light that is protruding out outside of your stomach and child yeah I remember when I first started doing that I would do things that I would have admired somebody else for doing or saying I was thinking like I really said that I, I really did that I, I really stood up for myself so I'm gonna tell you that your hand your 
your hand is telling you that you really need to work on your third chakra and once you have confidence in yourself you'll be able to bring create the reality that you want okay that is a solid message um, you have the courage you have the courage unleash your confidence be fearless I mean you saw the cards you are the ruler of your reality not your parents not your friends not your boss you are and you need to work on that third chakra to in order to bring um, to bring out your confidence and to believe in yourself here are a few gemstone ideas to help you strengthen your third chakra um, citrine yellow jasper yellow tourmaline tiger's eye yellow appetite they help with um, your will um, and strengthening your willpower is protecting grounding cleansing um, they also can help you with learning and also with inspired new ideas. Uh, amber increases mental clarity and promotes confidence. Yellow appetite strengthens willpower, power, and it helps you to overcome your imposed self-imposed limitations and to overcome shyness. And here are a few uh, essential oils that can help you with your third chakra: lemongrass, ginger, lemon oil, cedarwood, centronella, rosemary and Majara. So this, here are some things you can do to start working on your, your third chakra which is two inches above your navel. This is your power center. This is the area that's responsible for you manifesting your will, your dreams into the world. It's for mental clarity as well. It's a very important area that a lot of people neglect but it is a, a essential chakra for success. So now I'm going to give you the message from your Ah, this is tiger iron skull. It's a beautiful being. So we're going to see, I'm going to read the message that I downloaded to me. Let's see if I get it in focus. Ready? Okay. You are stronger than you think. Sorry, just trying to... Sounds like I get really confused looking at the camera. Here we go. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a high, happy outcome. See yourself as a strong and victorious. Don't complain about anything. Don't blame anyone or any any condition. What you are looking for from others, you must give to yourself. The validation, the admiration, the credibility, seeking the approval of others is a part of the human condition that began with seeking praise and approval from teachers and parents with stickers and treats. When they were satisfied with your actions, you felt good about yourself. And when they were disappointed with your actions, you felt bad about yourself. How you felt about your drawing and painting or various artistic expressions didn't matter. You were being trained to suppress to suppress meaningful activities and endeavors where there was no one to give it um, to give it meaning. Basically, when we were young and we were doing something and other people didn't approve of it, we let it go. We stopped doing it. We stopped believing in it. But when other people say, oh my God, that's really good. That's really pretty. Or you can do that. And then those are the things that we focus on because we were really just trying to... To, you know to please other people um, you are being asked is there, um, you are being asked to believe in yourself no matter what others what no matter what other people say believe in yourself believe in yourself you have to believe in yourself the world will come around to see you as you see yourself You did not incarnate on this planet to please others. You are here to please yourself and create the reality of your dreams. Wow. All right. Thank you. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. 
If you select, select it, the light blue denim divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is listen to your heart the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari pulling out some strong heart chakra energy and she says whatever the question love is the answer the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is Speak your truth. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib's message to you is trust. Yes. My collective intuition about your hand is that I hate to say you know things happen in a previous life because you know who knows right we don't know um, I do believe that we can hold things into our inner energetic bodies into our body into into our spirit that prevents us from moving forward so let's say for example you make a mistake or somebody really hurts you or you make a business deal and things don't really work out and you just you know stop trusting you stop trusting people you stop wanting to um, you know try because you feel that you're going to make the same mistake again the energy I'm picking up is that even if it's not from this lifetime or from another lifetime that you are afraid of moving forward and the mind trick is holding you back is that you you are convincing yourself why it is safe for you to stay exactly where you are you know people who say oh I'm gonna look for a new job but I'm gonna wait until after my youngest baby get out of you know pampers oh I'm gonna go back to school but I'm you know I can't right now because things have really picked up at work there are a lot of people who are st stuck where they are because they don't realize the tricks their mind are playing on them to keep them exactly where they are okay so be aware of first think of what you really want right and say okay hmm let's say you say for example i really want to start a bakery and you know but every time you get to that point something happens um, maybe some real things happen maybe someone you know in the family you know was having some real problems but it's a pattern and they and the problems seem legit I mean you see you know it seems like well you know what I could have gone back to school if A B C D and E didn't happen but the truth is you're just afraid because you just don't want you don't you feel like you're going to be let down so whatever it is that you really want, the universe is asking you to trust, to trust that the past is the past, to trust that what happened in the past is not going to happen to you again. This is a new day. This is a new start for you. And you just need to trust. You need to believe. You need to know that move forward, move forward and know that the universe has your back. Once you, and this is what the card is saying about speak your truth. When we stop speaking our truth, we lose sight of our dreams. We, we lose sight of our divine plan. We lose sight of our goals. We lose sight of where we want to go. But you can't, you can't really, you have to speak the truth to yourself and say, wait a minute. I was supposed to go to school, you know, 10 years ago and I stopped because of A, B, C, D, and E. I was supposed to write my book, but this happened. I was supposed to do this, but that happened. Like, the cards are asking you to really ask yourself to speak your truth to yourself to be honest with yourself about why you are afraid to move forward in the manner that you should now it also wants you to think about what it is that you love 
you have the card that says whatever the question love is the answer so if you're thinking about oh okay what should i do in my life what do you love to do do you love to paint do you love to bake do you love helping little kids do you what do you love to do because that is the answer to your question to your purpose to your destiny to why you're here you love it for a reason okay and when you know figure out what you love if the cards are saying listen to your heart your heart you know what your heart would never lead you wrong it really doesn't like we especially when we're talking about our divine purpose and where we belong the fact that you love something if your heart is saying i need to enroll in this class call this person back um do it i need to try this new seminar this new workshop i really want to i know people say well don't encourage people to be youtubers and dancers I believe if you let's just say you want to be a dancer and you that you love it you love it love it love it love it and that is what you want to do with your life and you go after it and it's very competitive and say you don't make it into the dance troupe or whatever they do that doesn't mean that you shouldn't have done that but let's just say that love for dance you know um, led you to the training to the discipline to the friends that you're making and then one day you decide you know what I'm going to start my own dance school for four-year-olds and I'm going to teach them how to do A, B, C, D, and E. See you see what I'm saying when you love something it doesn't mean that it may work out exactly the way you planned but trust me it's going to work out the way it's supposed to but you have to lead with love. Well, you have to lead with not the things that you feel lukewarm about or the things that you're just like, eh, I'm just going to do it because it's what my mom wants me to do or my dad. Or, there's, you know, they pay a lot of money, but I hate it. No, let love lead you. And it's going to lead you to the right direction of where your soul feels so much joy and where you feel at home. So you got to listen to your heart. Know that whatever your question is about your destiny is tucked away into what you love. Once you find what you love, you want to speak that truth. You don't want to, if people are saying, look, you don't need to be a teacher because teachers don't get paid a lot of money and da 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 da, good kids. You can honestly say, look, I have looked in my heart and I have decided this is what I want to do because I love it. And then before you know it, you can start your own charter school and you can get grant money and you can write a book about teaching and learning. There are so many ways to express the love for a particular activity and i think this is where a lot of people lose sight of their dreams is that youth might have thought that oh i want to be an nba basketball player but maybe you were supposed to divine um supposed to um, design the uniforms or maybe teach the basketball players how to manage their money or does you know you know what i'm saying or how to market the games especially now in a virtual environment so let love lead you, but be open to what you find along that journey. I hope that I hope that makes sense. Because you want to trust. And this is where the trust comes in. You want to trust that there is a divine plan for your life that is absolutely perfect and had only you in mind. So now I'm going to give you the message from your skull being. This is a beautiful fuchsite skull being and I'm going to give you your message let's see can I get you in focus here darling the pain of failure for you is worse than the pain of not trying at all you have convinced yourself as to why you don't believe your plans will work you have told yourself that the market is too saturated you don't have enough resources you don't have any inside connections and even maybe on some level you are not even good enough but none of these mind tricks are true you have suppressed what you want most in the world because you have second. you have suppressed what you want most in the world because you have watched too many people's dreams not come true to admit to yourself that you want more out of life, doing what you love is a daunting task because it reopens the wound of wanting something but not getting it, such as winning a spelling bee 
or some other childhood competition, you swore you would never want to win again because you don't want to feel like a loser. So basically, um, the fuchsia skull is being is saying that a lot of times when we are young and we see that we never win, it becomes a part of our personality that prevents us from trying because we feel like, well, I'm not going to win this spelling bee. I'm not going to be chosen for the game. I'm not going to get the part. So you start saying, you know what? I don't care anymore. So you stop really trying on that level. So um, the mind trick of, com of convincing yourself that you don't want the deepest desires of your heart has disconnected you from your personal truth. Mm -hmm. Let your inner desire let your inner child desire the toy that you always wanted but he didn't get it for Christmas and let her cry. Think back to several childhood times you desired something strongly but was not able to get it. Let your inner child feel these emotions. This will begin to break down the walls surrounding your heart so that you are able to connect to your most sincere goals and dreams. Comfort your inner child then in your imagination, give them exactly what they wanted. Carry this vibration of satisfaction back to the present moment and let it resonate in your spirit. Do this for 7 to 21 days before setting out to search your heart for what it is you really want to experience and accomplish in this lifetime. You must open up the pathways of your heart chakra and trust the universe to help you manifest your supreme dream. Thank you for that beautiful message. Wow. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the red tiger print divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about mind tricks that are holding you back. So the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara message to you is always do your own research. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi's message to you is watch your back. The next card I have for you, again we pull in some Chobi energy. And her message to you is you in focus here. Her message is mind your own affairs. And the next message I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is you don't find love, you resonate love and it finds you. Whew, man, you have a heavy hand. A heavy hand. My collective intuition about your hand is that you've been burnt, you've been hurt, you've been let down, you've been disappointed, and you don't really trust people like that. But when I say like that, it's kind of like you. What's the, the mind trick that is holding you back is that you think back, mm, yeah, you know what? I don't really trust you. And so because you're holding this energy of not trusting others, you are not able to take advantage of opportunities, networking opportunities, um, being around, because we need people. We need other people to manifest our dreams. And the only way you can manifest 
only way we can manifest our dreams is by building our dream team, right? The people in our life, like if you're a book, you need an editor, you need a publisher. If you, you know, we all need somebody, you know, even if you, even if you're making videos, you still need to talk to people in terms of maybe, um, you know, commenting to your subscribers or buying your computer. What I'm saying is, guys, if you look at every serious institution and anybody who's successful, there's a team around them. But if you don't trust people anymore and you have a hard time letting people in, then you are going to be missing opportunities to help you evolve. I hope that makes sense. Or, or help you take advantage of resources and things that you would never know about unless you are around people who are in the, in the industry of where you would like to um, grow and grow professionally. So basically, now the thing is, when it's about minding your own affairs, I feel that as opposed to you, if I were you, and what I'm thinking about from the cars is that whatever happened to you and whoever you don't trust, um, it was dissect the situation, look back on it and see if there were any red flags and maybe you ignore it. And that's saying maybe you didn't ignore them because sometimes we, you know, we're just not at fault. But go back and look at that situation and come up with a plan and say, okay, when I see these red flags, when I see this behavior, this is how I'm going to act. Next time I'm going to be very clear about the contract. And that's why you have this card from um, Chalby that says Mind John Affairs. And she you also have a card from her that says, you know, watch your back. So basically what I'm picking up from your hand is that you wanna child, you wanna read the fine print, okay? You wanna have your lawyer go over the contract. You want to dot your eyes and cross your teeth this time and not look or maybe you don't maybe it was the lawyer but it's it's telling you that educate yourself protect yourself look out for yourself don't put your future in someone else's hands don't believe somebody who say hey um i'm going to give you my email list i'm going to give you my contact list i'm going to share my you know like don't don't trust that people will say anything like you like the universe is asking you to learn from your previous mistakes, but don't let those previous mistakes cut you off from trusting new people and um, looking at new opportunities. But it's also asking you to be extremely clear about the boundaries, about the rules, about the details, the fine, the fine, you know, the fine print. Like for example, sometimes. I notice that people might say something and they leave it very loosey goosey so that they can twist and turn it to their own, you know, for, so I'm sorry, so that it will be convenient for them. And you've seen that before. So it's like, oh no, this can be interpreted this way, but they don't tell you that it's interpreted a particular way until it's to their advantage. So these are the type of things you have to look out for. Um, and know that. When someone is asking you for your money that, or, you know, they don't always have your best interest at heart. Um, unless, you know what I'm saying? So you, I think that you, the universe is asking you to really look at some past mistakes, to really look at some things that, you know, people and situations where you felt you were dealt with unfairly for you to dissect it look at your own behavior and say okay in this the next time i'm going to be very clear this these are the contracts these are the rules this is how i'm going to conduct myself um i'm going to look out for myself i mean you even have a card that says always do your own research oh god your hand is saying look you need to trust people to move ahead but you need to protect yourself don't let something that happened to you in the past reoccur. So the mind trick that your mind is playing on you now is I don't need nobody. Uh-uh. I don't need nobody. I'd rather stay here and not get promoted if I have to deal with A, B, C, D, and E. I'd rather just, you know, not even go back if I have to deal with these type of teachers. I don't. So can you see how a person who has been hurt where their mind is, is 
you know, playing tricks on them. When I say it's, it's a trick, it's a mind trick because because you have been legitimately hurt in the past, legitimately, now you can't move forward. You're stuck because you're thinking that here we go, here we go again, making the same mistakes where people are going to try to hurt me, people are going to try to disappoint me, teachers are going to say they want this, and then when I turn it in, it's not good enough, you know what I'm saying? So the cards are saying that um, you're really going to have to be very clear about the fine print, do your own research, mind your own affairs. You look out for yourself, child, right? Watch your back. But you, in order to move forward, though, you do need to um, network with other people, and you're going to have to open up the heart chakra so it's saying you don't find love, you resonate love and it finds you. So this card is saying until you are able to trust people, you're never going to find people you can trust. Because you're only going to attract the frequency of which you are vibrating. Because people who trust people aren't going to be attracted to you because you're not giving out the frequency of trust. Does that, does that make sense? So the universe is saying, look. We know you've been dealt some dirty hands, right? We know somebody might hurt you and you have every right to feel the way you do. But in order for you to evolve and move forward, you're still going to have to open up to new energy. But here are the things that you do. You look at the syllabus. Look at the contracts. Look at the fine print. Find out what the return policy is. Be very clear about what it is. Look, dissect what has happened. Because being stuck in the past is going to... Yeah, it's not going to be good for you. And you are very talented. You are intelligent. You are wonderful. And I'm picking up that you're a really good person. But you really, your inability to let go of the past and trust people again will prevent you from have, um, prevent you from moving towards promotions, earning more money, and having more opportunities. So now I'm going to read the message for you from your star alien being. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I think this is yellow jade. And the message I have for you. Is, I'm sorry for uh, the sniffling. <laughs> you are telling yourself that you don't need anyone. Because you can accomplish what you need to accomplish alone. Deep down inside. You know it's not true. You you ex um, okay here we go you are telling yourself that you don't need anyone because you can accomplish what you need to accomplish alone deep down inside you know it's not true you just don't know how much of yourself you are going to have to give away to get what you want. You don't want to sacrifice your core values, your core artistic idea. When people offer help, they do want something in return, whether it may be credit or both. You don't want to share your baby with the world because you know it's going to lose its purity, its identity and its attachment to you as its creator. Once others become involved in your project with your baby, your idea, your product, it becomes an entity outside of you with its own life path. It may choose to get rid of you, your idea, your movie, your book, your YouTube channel, so that it can reach its full potential. Because an idea originated from you or you birthed it into the world, it doesn't mean that the idea belongs to you. A mind trick that is holding you back is that somewhere in the depths of your soul, you know that you will, you will have to let go, let your idea go so that it can reach its full potential, even if that means leaving you behind. Whew, some of these messages just, just blow my mind, y'all. That was deep. Wow. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.